2012 Dance Dance Revolution one. Okay. We were, it was 2012 and six weeks prior, I just had did Dance Central 2 for 24 hours. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go and I want to take back the Dance Dance Revolution one too. So I'm going to do it, Dance Dance Revolution on X2 in the arcade. Mm -hmm. So it was two weeks, it was one week before school started and I was in my classroom and a new teacher just got hired that I was working with. I go, hey, how are you doing? And I go, my name is Carrie. I go, it's nice to meet you. Tomorrow I'm going to set a world record playing Dance Dance Revolution for 24 hours. So maybe we can meet next week and then I'm going to run a half marathon Sunday after I said it on Saturday and she's like you're crazy and so we go to the arcade and it was really hot in there okay so it was hot because all the machines and everything were heating and it was the summer in Bakersfield it's like 100 degrees or hotter and they didn't have the AC working so we were frying in there and I was like oh my god it was like the worst world record because as I was trying to break it one of my volunteers got hit by a car because he ran across the, the he ran across the thing, so his foot got ran over, and he didn't tell me because they didn't want to tell me because they didn't want um, to, me to worry about those things. They wanted me to focus. And then my other friend, who was supposed to be a volunteer, got into a car wreck on her way there. So we're shorthanded. We're training these people how to time on the side, and I kept trying to figure out, well, what's wrong with my friend who's out there? Um, they have him outside. They're all, well, his foot hurts. He got hit by the car. And the person stopped, but he doesn't want to go home because he doesn't want to leave you shorthanded and everything. And I said, stop. I go, I'm going to use my break time. I need to consult them. And I'm like, you know, I'm like a teacher. And I was like, you have to go home. We have to call your parents. I, and you have to be 18 or older. So, I mean, these guys are not kids. They're like 21. But I said, you still have to go home. And I go, I need your parent because I'm, help, I'm liable for you. And I can't have you sue me about your thing. And so... He goes, no, no, it's okay. I'm, you know, I'm an adult. And then they're saying, no. <laughs> I go, it's not my call of parents. So then we were like getting people to help out. And it was just crazy because something kept happening to all our volunteers, it seemed like, during that time. And then it was really, really hot. And people were going delirious at night when it midnight hit. And people started running around and trying to find cool spots in the arcade to stay cool because <laughs> it was really hot. And then I go, where is everybody? Everybody's supposed to be keeping me awake. And then um, everyone, it seemed like everyone was starting to doze off the hours. And my friend, Jake, who's been my steward since I've done all my world records in Bakersfield in 2012, um, I call him the steward. He can never leave the J Just Dance Fight Club. He's the number one steward. <laughs> and I go, where is Jake? And they're all, Jake's on a, um, a five-minute break to use the restroom. And I go, I go, well, I need to take a break because I have to use the restroom. Like, okay, we'll get ready in time. I go, I don't trust any of you. You look like you are, are falling asleep. And I said, I, I go, I'm not going to take a break, but maybe someone needs to find him because I'm going, I have to go to the restroom now. And I said, and I go, I need to take a break. And I was telling him, I don't trust, and everyone's going delirious. And I was like, I don't trust anybody here but Jake. <laughs> I don't get it. And everyone's getting mad. And then one guy's all, I'm hungry. Someone bring me. Carl's Jr. and he was like falling asleep and I was like no I got to be late for documentation so that was like it was crazy because that one it was just so hot in the arcade in there it was warm the AC wasn't working right it was 110 degrees outside everyone's going delirious and we're laying and then when I took my break um I my because the impact that DDR has on your body it's like all concentrated on your lower body rather than spread out with motion sensing that I would have to lay on the ground with my feet elevated up in the air and people were massaging my feet as I was laying on the ground with them elevated up and everyone's like what's wrong with this lady I'm, I'm just trying to take the pressures off my feet <laughs> it was crazy oh man that's awesome <laughs> yeah that one was pretty crazy and they were running around and trying to find tokens on the ground all the people waiting for waiting for their turn to come on shift and uh, to be um, a witness for four hours and they were running around looking for tokens on the ground so they could play the games in between <laughs>